So, hello guys, today I will start on the third exercise shown here, which is an elasto elastoplastic analysis made on this structure. So, let's get started. I will follow once again, once again, I will follow the steps here. I have printed this document and I will follow the steps. I will do every step here. So let's do it now. I have already opened robot structural analysis and I will uh, select the frame 2D design, which is right here. Okay. Now I'll need to go to the tools menu and go to job preference set the materials to Eurocode, OK, the design codes to Eurocode, OK. Also, the loads here and the code combinations also according to Eurocode right here, OK. And accept all of this. Now let's go to the structural axis definition. And on the X tab, the position is zero. Number of repetitions two. Distance is six. This is the numbering one, two, three. Now let's go to the Z tab. Position is zero. Numbering is A, B, C. I need a 3.6, uh, sorry, number of repetitions is 1, over here 3.6, add, and I'll need to add 6 here, Sorry about that. Six here and seven point two here. Okay. Now let's apply and close. There we have our uh, axis defined. Now let's go to geometry. Select uh, geometry. No, let's go right to this the symbol for bar sections and we need to define three steel cross sections. Select right over here, go to the Europe IPA and select the 240. Add also the HEA which is right here, HEA 300. Add that and also the HEA 240 add. Okay, now close. Now we need to go to the bars icon and select the bar types column. And I don't know if you have noticed, but the section that is defined here is the last one that I have defined here. This is always like this. The last section that you defined here is also the section selected here. Okay? Now, let's define this column. Let's go to this point to this point and also from uh, this point to this point over here. Okay, fine. Now let's follow to and select this cross section and go to this point to this point. And now let's define the beams over here. This cross section and this beam will be from here to here. Okay, very good. There we have 
our first element. Now we need to go to the library structure definition. Let's turn first the nodes numbering here. Let's click this button. Select this icon. Double click. OK. For the length, I want 12 meters. For the height, I want 1.2 meters. The number of fields. The number of uh, fields will be six. Okay. Continue short. Yes, moments release. No. Now for the sections, I want to all trust shorts up and lower. I want this cross section DCA add 90 by 10. Okay, and there we go. You see, at 90 by 10. Okay, control all, control C, control all, control A, control V. Now, here for the diagonals. I have to assign a C A E 70 by 7. Okay, let's do it. 70 by 7, okay. And there we go. Now we go to the insert. And on the insertion point, we select the node number 2, which is over here. Okay, I'll have to set it this way. And okay, there we go. There we have our structure. So I am uh, running out of times. I'm running out of time. Uh, in the next movie, I will continue this exercise. So thank you very much.